Shadow of the Colossus came at a time when a new generation of consoles were on the way in 2005. It was still loved and praised by many who played it for its minimalist design but engaging gameplay. Come 2011 and it re-released alongside its older sibling Eco as an HD remaster. Now, in 2018, Shadow of the Colossus has been completely remade for the PS4 and revitalized in a way that says this is the way the game was meant to be played, over a decade since it first came out. As the game kicks off, we're presented with absolutely beautiful visuals of the cursed world the game sets up. Our protagonist rides with the body of his dead beloved in the hopes that some sort of deity will bring her back to life. He makes a deal to destroy all 16 colossi this higher being orders and without any questions it's what we as the players set out to accomplish. While on the surface, Shadow of the Colossus may seem to be a game about slaying giant beasts in exotic settings, but there's so much more to the experience. The game, without question, tasks us with killing powerful beings who quietly lurk in their designated habitats. With each kill, you begin to ask yourself if what you're doing is right. These supposed monsters are doing nothing to harm us until their lives are threatened. And that's really what drives the narrative forward in a game that has very little to say until its final moments. Throughout the whole experience, the main character has no one to interact with other than his horse, leaving us to ponder and drink in what this world holds between each boss fight. What I'm trying to say is, the game says a lot without saying much at all. And that's the main reason I was driven to push through the game, despite the guilt I felt with each slayer. As I mentioned earlier, this game looks fantastic. Kudos to Bluepoint Games who ported the 2011 versions of Team Eco's first two games as well. But unlike those original remasters, the presentation in this 2018 release have been completely overhauled. New textures, new lighting and new modelling of the world that are absolutely complemented by the PS4 hardware. I played this on my 2013 PS4 system and was impressed by the experience. The Colossi themselves looked more convincing and terrifying, especially when it came to mounting them and being tossed about in their fur. The only complaint I have in the visuals of Shadow of the Colossus is the protagonist's movements. He still looks as ragdollish as ever and there were frequently weird moments when he would glitch out towards a ledge, flinging around while I was just casually getting him to step down. And while I'm mentioning the controls, these were what really needed the biggest overhaul over the original in my opinion. But unfortunately the game still feels just as awkward and frustrating as my first experience with the 2011 version. Most of the control problems stem from the horse riding, though I still found myself cursing in confusion when I couldn't climb a wall or colossus limb the way I meant to. It baffles me that in 2018, after so many 3D games that include horse riding as a main feature, that we can still have such badly behaving steeds. It felt like I was trying to drive a car with cut brakes and no power steering. Thankfully, most of the open world is sprawling with minimal obstacles, but in the few instances I would navigate through a path, I'd end up turning in the wrong direction or not really moving at all. And then there's the camera. Similarly, the camera feels like it's been kept untouched from the first version of the game just to make us feel like we're playing something from 2005 still. In fact, I'd go so far as to suggest that given how much I had to fight with the camera to not whip around so far or to keep it looking in the direction I want it to, that it is actually the secret 17th Colossus of the game. But I guess that's just me being facetious. And the reason why I'm so salty about those two aspects of the game's controls is because they're so critical to the experience, and I had a satisfying time otherwise. Shadow of the Colossus has such a barren yet lively world that even though you're aware your character doesn't ever interact with anyone, you don't really care because your objectives and the world design are so clear. That said, there are plenty of secrets to discover and difficulty challenges to take on. I managed to finish the game in just under 6 hours and was satisfied with the experience given the clear direction presented right from the get-go. What sets Shadow of the Colossus apart from so many other games is its sense of scale. Sure, other open world type games might have a larger world to explore with rich environments and side quests galore, but each new Colossus brings with it a different puzzle with which to solve in order to mount and defeat it. Inevitably they all end with just stab the glowy bit, but it's the trick of figuring out how a Colossus environment ultimately lets it down so that you as a minuscule human can conquer it. If you haven't yet played this game and can get past the clunky controls, you're in for a real treat. 
and if you have played it but it was years ago on a different system then you might not find much new here except the updated visuals and a set of hidden collectibles. But one thing is for certain, this is the definitive Shadow of the Colossus experience. And that's about it for this edition of Player Attack. Thanks for watching. Next week, Nate and the two hour team will let you know whether Stick Fight the game is worth your time, and we take a look at something a bit different as we spend a night in the woods. In the meantime, you can catch us at playerattack.com. We're on Facebook, YouTube, and Twitter. And if you've got something you want to say, send us an email, mailbox at playerattack.com, or just hop on our forums. Also, if you want to support Player Attack, you can find us on Patreon and help us bring you the latest in gaming news, plus all these wonderful interviews and reviews from the world of video games. Till next week, I'm Jessica Citizen, and this is Player Attack.